given these shifting realities, what is the future of theological education as part of higher education? Or more particularly, what is my vision for the future of theological education? Let me name three things. If we take seriously first the demographic changes in church membership, theological education must begin to make similar shifts to prepare itself to educate leadership for the changing face of the church. Ministry is culturally contextualized because as humans we are culturally contextualized. We can only be humans within our cultural constructs. If this is true, then the kind of theological education we offer must have cultural relevancy. A monolithic Euro-American-centered theological education will not suffice to meet the commitments to racial ethnic churches. Is there a way to develop a curriculum that has multiple centers? In biblical studies, for example, Vincent Wimbush has asked, how might putting African Americans at the center of the study of the Bible affect the study of the Bible? We can ask similar questions about any, any of our other disciplines. Is it necessary to begin teaching any of our disciplines from a Euro-American perspective? In reality, decentering Euro-American theological education serves not only the racial ethnic students and churches, but also the white students who will be going into communities that are increasingly ethnically heterogeneous. Second, a theological education that is attentive to the shifting realities must also pay attention to the changing religious landscape in the United States. If our societies and communities are no longer religiously homogenous, but increasingly pluralistic, should we not be prepared, preparing le religious leaders that have the knowledge of and conversant with other religious traditions? At Drew Theological School, our MDiv program requires one course in world religions. Yet, is this one course sufficient for the kind of world we are sending our students into? I was just visiting with a, uh, a bishop, a newly elected bishop of the United Methodist Church. And he talked about his, his theological education when he, he was in a class on world religions. It was more than 10 years ago. And his first reaction was he resented that. He did not think that it was important for him to know about other religions. Then he found himself in a situation where he was asked by one of his staff uh, to perform a funeral for a brother who is not a Christian. He began to realize how significant his training was to perform an important ritual for someone in need. And he said that if he had not had the class, he would absolutely have, have no clue what he needed to do. It is not about compromising our Christian values our Christian theology, it is about preparing ourselves to engage a world that is becoming so dramatically different. Third, theological education must be global in its orientation. With the shifting center of Christianity to Africa and Asia, theological education must engage in dialogue and partnership with churches and institutions in other parts of the world. Drew is privileged to have an historic relationship with the Korean churches. Since I've become the dean of the theological school, I've gone to Korea four times. We need to engage theological institutions in Africa, Asia, or Latin America as real and serious partners in educational mission. We need to engage in mutual relationship to teach and learn mutually. In doing so, we break out of the old colonial paradigm of the West as possessors of knowledge to be imparted on the rest. This global orientation is particularly important for doctoral education, which many of our 13 United Methodist schools do. One of the major challenges of theological institutions in Africa and Asia is faculty development. There are not enough strong programs for the training and education of faculty. 
I know a good percentage of doctoral students in our United Methodist doctoral programs are international. Yet, I have constantly asked myself how well are we training them to return to teach in their native contexts and what percentage do return.